Hello and welcome to Man Paintings Art for All. Today I am going to post full video of bird craft. So let's have a look at the materials. People ask me which powder I am using. So I am showing you the pictures. You can have any wall putty which is commonly available at any hardware shop. So let's start the video. I am starting with the outline of the bird car. First I will draw the tree and the branches. Here I am using a canvas of size 30 into 30 cm. If you don't have a canvas board, you can go for any MDF board or any wooden ply board. And even you can also use a marble tile for this. The tree is grown, now I am preparing little branches and two birds. Uh, I have also drawn a small nest over the branch. And next I am going to give 3D effect to this. For which I am using wall putty. Wall putty powder is easily available at any hardware store. I have taken small quantity of wall putty powder. Now I will just mix it with few drops of water. I will not add water at once but I will take little water and mix putty powder into it. Here I am adding 4 or 5 spoons of wall putty powder into the container. Now adding the water to prepare the dough. First mix little water and mix the powder well and then add more water and make a perfect dough. The dough is ready, we can very easily prepare this kind of dough using wall putty powder and uh, water only. We don't need glue or any extra thing to add into this dough. This clay is for instant use, you can keep the dough for few minutes or almost one hour but when it contacts with the air, it dry very soon. So we have to start our craft and uh, I am mixing few glue white glue any white glue you can take and uh, mixing it into the water and then I will start preparing the craft using these two I'm starting from the tree applying glue over the tree and the branches and uh, then I will start pasting wall putty over it This clay is very soft and very easy to use. I have taken small amount of it and rolling over the hand. Now keeping it over the area where I have applied the white glue. Gently press the clay from all sides and make it fix over the board. And you can also use little bit of water or glue on your fingers to keep it smooth you can see how easily it is taking the shape of the tree now keep on adding more clay with the shape of the tree and branches and fix it with the same method Water is very helping in making the clay smooth, so keep touching the water. This clay is fully crack free, so it will be very easy for you to work with it. Making few more branches. I 
I have taken the clay tool to give the detailings to the tree. You can also do the same with any knife or cutter. Now I am preparing the bird using clay, applying a little bit gum. I have taken some clay in my hand and simply putting it over the bird's shape and now settling it with my fingers. I have prepared the lower part of the bird first, now cover it with more clay over it. Preparing clay for the upper shape and slightly keeping it over the layer we have already applied. Settle the clay with your hands till you get the right shape. Here I am using the pencil to make the eye. I am using knife to make bird's wing and other small details over the bird's body. Taking few more clay to prepare bird's tail and giving details using clay tool. Time to prepare bird's beak. Take a very small amount of clay and make the beak with your fingers and simply put it over the glue. I'm using clay tool to cut extra clay from the beak and give it the right shape. Now I'm preparing next bird applied glue and taken few clay I'm starting from the head of the bird so I'm putting some clay over it and settling it with finger taking more clay and just mixing it A drop of water is very helpful in mixing the clay properly. Now I am preparing bird's wing. I have taken the clay and folding it, giving it the shape of the wings. Tailings to the wings. Preparing eye and beak. I have prepared thin clay rolls and making other branches which are small in size and also giving it the same details as I have given on the tree. using these small clay rolls to prepare little birds. 
into the nest adding more clay to prepare their heads and small clay for their beaks I want to give a real effect to the nest so I want to show it a little bit outside from the canvas for which I am using a newspaper roll and now keeping the clay over it. First I am applying glue on the both sides of the nest and then I will put the newspaper and the clay and pressing very gently all sides of the nest. Nest can take some time to get settled, but once it gets settled, you have to quickly give some rough texture with clay tool. You have to do this before the clay get dry. Now the clay has got dry and I have removed the newspaper from the nest. In the last, I am preparing big and small leaves for the tree. Adding details to the leaf using protein. Now I am applying the glue near the nest where I want to place the leaf. And with the same method, I am adding small and big leaves over the tree Clay work is over now. Now our next step that is painting. So I am using acrylic paints for it. The clay art is completely dry now. So I am starting to paint it. I am using several acrylic paints. I have taken red, white, orange, yellow and burnt cyanide colors to start the painting. Starting with the mixing of lemon yellow and white color. Bring all the background with lemon yellow and white mixing. Now giving some touch ups with burnt cyan color. Use this color on the wet yellow paint and merge it well. I am also uh, using small amount of sap green color to give this a uh, uh, leaf texture at the background. Here I have mixed some black into burnt cyanide to give some dark effects. Merging all the colors one by one. I have prepared dark brown shade by mixing burnt cyanide and black and covering all the trunk and the branches with the same color.
for the light branches I am using white color directly. Making some dark branches and for this I am using burn signer. It's time to color the leaves and for leaves I am using orange color. I have added few white into orange to make it lighter. Half leaves are done in light orange color and now on other half part of the leaves I am using lemon yellow color and mix the both at a point with the same brush. For creating some darkness near the folds, I am using scarlet red color. I am using light orange color by mixing orange and white over the birds and same colors like I have used in the leaves. I am adding scarlet red and yellow into the birds I'm taking black color for the head and the wings of the bird and uh, I will also apply this over the tail For small birds, I am using lighter shade like I am giving base of white and adding some pink into it and a little bit of grey and yellow. 